How's it going guys? It's Tony Sauce here. And in this video, we're going to be opening up that President's Trophy Pack. All right. Now I got all of the objectives done right here for this Rangers President's Trophy Pack, right? I made a video about this the other day. Now in this video that I made, I was anticipating this pack being good. All right. I thought it was going to be like the Maple Leafs pack that came out like a month ago where people were just getting like these insane pulls and they released like these really good hut headliner cards for the Rangers for winning the president's trophy, whatever. Yeah. For winning the president's trophy. And I was just thinking like this pack's going to be cracked, right? So let's open it up. Here we go, boys. Let's see. President's trophy pack. 80, Gillis Villamure. 82, Eric Gustafson, and... Bro, what the f*** is this game, bro? I just wasted 30 minutes of my life for an 83 overall goddamn Keandre Miller. So brutal, dude. So brutal. All right, boys, that was brutal. Like, what are we doing here, EA? I literally wasted, like, 45 minutes of my life grinding out these objectives. I know that they're not hard. But there's, there, there's got to be better than, like, 83s in this pack. Like, I don't know, dude. I really thought there was going to be, like, one of these insane new Hut Headliner cards in this pack. I understand they can't be just, like, tossing cards left and right. But especially because the game just came out on EA Play and Xbox Game Pass, I thought that this was going to be kind of a little jump start for some of the new players. But no, I got some terrible pulls in this pack. Like... It's so annoying, dude. Like, I literally wasted 30 minutes of my life, but it is what it is. I don't want to be that dude who's complaining over packs like this, but it just feels like there's no point of doing these objectives if the majority of players are getting ass pulls. Like, mad people commented on my video when I, when I made the President's Trophy video telling everyone about this. I got three 83s, or I mean, I got like my highest pull was an 83. My highest pull was an 81. I got all gold players. Like, what's the point of completing these if there's like a tiny chance that you're going to get an 86, a tiny chance that you're going to get a purple pull? It just seems dumb. I, I don't know. I think they got to increase pack odds, boys. Like, especially, I think they got to increase pack odds for packs that you do objectives for it seems like we were going strong for a couple weeks where the objectives were yielding very good packs like the toronto maple leafs pack the best of pack i remember being decent uh no nah, i think that one was cheeks too um i, I just think that there's got to be some better pulls in these packs if we're grinding for them you know it's one thing if it's like you're trading in silver players and you're getting a two gold player pack you open up a bunch of two gold player packs and you're not hitting but on one where, like, I'm putting in all of these Ranger players into my roster, which is annoying as it is, and then I'm grinding, like, 50 hits, 15 goals. Like, I know it's easy, but what the hell? Like, I, I'm not, it makes it so I'm not going to do something like this again because I'm thinking, why do this when last time I got literally no good pulls? I wasted my time. I wasted my time. So what's the point? Like, I don't know. It just makes me really frustrated, but let me know what you guys think. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch. Link down below in the description. I just went live and opened up this pack on my live stream. It was mad fun. So follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream. Peace.